Hello, my name is Chris Hammond with .NET New Corporation. In this video, part three of our installation series for DNN7, we're going to walk you through the process of creating the database that our .NET New website will be utilizing. Now, if you're utilizing SQL Server Express, you don't need to perform the steps shown in this particular video. You can move on to part four of the video, the installation wizard video. Now, if you haven't watched the previous videos, you can click on the links here within the video to watch those pr previous videos on how to configure the file system and how to configure the web server. And then you can come back to the database video here. Now, in this video, we're going to use SQL Server 2008. And I'm hap I happen to be using a local copy of SQL Server 2008 R2. I'm going to create a database called dnndev.me. Now that database name matches the name of the website that we created in the previous video. From there, we need to configure security on that database. We're going to use Windows Authentication. And we're going to configure security for the application pool that was created in the previous video. When we configure that security, we do need to make sure that that user is added into the database owner role. So let's go ahead and get started with the process. We need to load up SQL Server's Management Studio. And if you have Windows 7 here, you can just type SQL into the Run window, and you should see SQL Server Management Studio as one of the options. Now I'm co connecting to my local SQL Server database. Server name here is just a single period, and I'm using Windows Authentication to connect. So I'll go ahead and click on Connect. I'm going to go ahead and expand the Databases node on the left side of the screen. We're going to right-click on that node and choose New Database. Now here I'm going to go ahead and give the database a name of dnndev.me. Now if you need to configure additional options or file uh, settings for the database, you can go ahead and configure those. Those are not necessary for .NET Nuke. You don't need to make any changes. We'll just assume that we use the defaults. So go ahead and click OK. And that creates our new database that shows up here in the list. Now in order for .NET Nuke to be able to connect to that database, we need to configure the security. So we're going to expand the security node and then the logins node. Now from here, we'll go ahead and right click on logins. We're going to create a new SQL Server login. But what we're going to do is for that login name, we're going to type in the name of our application pool. So it's going to be IIS space APPPOOL backslash dnndev.me. So that's the account that was created by IIS when we created our website in the previous video. Now this account is utilizing Windows Authentication, so we'll go ahead and leave that selected. And then before we hit OK, we do need to click on the user mapping page on the left side. This will then provide us a list of the databases. We're going to go ahead and check dnndev.me. And then down below, we need to check db underscore owner. We're going to make that account owner of this database. We'll go ahead and click OK. And we have now configured our database by creating the database and associating the Windows application pool account to be able to log in and manage that database. Now in the next video in the series, we're going to show you how we will connect .NET Nuke to that database and go through the process of completing the installation for .NET Nuke 7. You can go ahead and click on any of the links here in the video to access the previous videos or the next video in the series.